we heard about Curtis Knight Entertainment um, through a couple of friends. We've actually uh, been to a couple of weddings that Curtis and Anna had DJed. Um, so we are the, I guess, third generation Curtis and Anna wedding. Um, two of my best friends, I was bridesmaid in both of their weddings. And um, they're just so amazing. We really didn't have to look very far um, to get referrals and set up our appointment. I think during our first meeting uh, in the office, I was, I was very comfortable. I felt at home. You know, it was a very comfortable and relaxed meeting. Mm -hmm. They made us very excited. They were enthusiastic, which made us enthusiastic because it was our wedding, and it's nice to have people excited for um, something that we're excited about. And um, we'd already seen Curtis and Anna in action, so we kind of knew how they worked, but didn't actually get to talk to them personally till our first meeting and we were we were sold with the hello and the hugs. Uh, the day of our wedding Curtis and Anna's presentation was um, just I think very professional they were. Um, they met us outside when the limo got there. Yep they, they were right they out there. With the photos and everything outside so. Yep. That... They came out said hello right away they had already been there for a while setting up um, and our guests had already started arriving so there was um, you know, they were already in there with the guests and making sure that, um, you know, we had some a little bit of music playing and um, during the cocktail hour and... Um, and the, the video camera came out when we got there, too. They were ready to go when um, we pulled up in the limo with the videographer. And um, from the moment we stepped out of that limo to the moment we left our reception, they were... Um, there with us all the way. They were making sure we were comfortable. I think every time we got up and didn't have a drink in her hand, somebody, Anna or Curtis, was asking us if we needed something, needed a drink, if we were comfortable, um, asking us, you know, a couple minutes ahead of time, this is what we're going to do. Are you ready for it? Um, do you need more time? Um, they really wanted to open the dance floor right away to get everybody going, and uh, we really liked that too. So I think overall they were extremely helpful. They were calming. And ready for it. They, they were prepared, prepared professional, um, and they were excited and energetic, which I think is extremely important as well. They got everybody, all their guests, feeling um, feeling ready to go as well. Well, the grand entrance for me was kind of a blur because we were we were at the back of the line and we were just trying to get everybody in one place at one time. And then when Curtis and Anna came in, and kind of Curtis started with his you will do this and do this and do this and do this. You know, very detailed instructions easier. with a group of very rowdy, yeah. rowdy bridesmaids and groomsmen. Um, in the video, I didn't really realize this, but in the video, nobody, everybody was kind of just like talking and laughing and doing their own thing. And, you know, Curtis and Anna came in, they had to give their directions and um, everybody listened to their directions and followed suit um, pretty well. Um, they handled themselves Curtis and Anna were able to kind of gather everybody together before um, before we went out there. So at least everybody knew somewhat as to what they were supposed to be doing and um, how they were supposed to do it. And um, I think that was that was very beneficial. Um, I think just to tie the two in together between the grand entrance and the video, we never would have known what the grand entrance was until we saw the video because we were we were the last ones to go through the door and. Mm -hmm. Your parents, my parents, all the brides, all the brides and bridesmaids and groomsmen went through, and we never would have seen any of the yeah. fun. The and fun the door outtakes. closed after each person, so you know we couldn't, we didn't see any. We, we heard music, we heard cheering, but we didn't actually see anything. Um, so that was um, nice to see because our bridesmaids and groomsmen put a lot of effort <laughs> in, into their entrances, and it was it was nice to be able to see. Um, to see that and see everybody and you know everybody at their seats cheering and laughing and having a good time. So.
think um, when we came in and we saw all of our family members and friends standing up uh, close to the dance floor and we were able to to have our first dance with everybody sort of being active and involved was nice um, and Curtis and Anna getting them up out of their seats and after that um, after our first dance ended they kept everybody on their feet and um, played one dance song where everybody could kind of get into the mood and dance and so everybody was on the dance floor right from the beginning and set the mood to have fun and energetic wedding um, and we were on the dance floor with everybody before everybody sat back down for um, you know the first course of the meal um, I think that was um, a great addition to our wedding and made everybody feel um, involved rather than just being guests sitting at their seats. And it made everybody feel like they were there to have a good time instead mm -hmm. of just to be a stuffy, you know, sit around and eat yeah. type of thing. Um, I think in our planning of our wedding, we didn't want too many games or too many things taking up time. We really wanted people to have fun and dance and um, be able to get on the dance floor. But the one thing that Curtis and Anna did talk to us about was um, Sweet Caroline, which is actually pretty appropriate because um, it, that was a song that um, my college friends and I used to um, sort of have connection to when we were in college. So um, having that as our opener, everybody was on the dance floor and um, having the, the competition between uh, Ryan and I for whose side was the loudest, I think was fun. Um, it was a great way to get everybody up and active um, instead of just sitting at their seats. And um, I really liked the ending when Team Chrissy won and that I would be Team right. I would be right for the next 50 years. The judges say that round one goes to Team Chrissy! So now, it's one to nothing in favor of Team Christine. Let me just ask Team Ryan, how do you feel about the judging so far? Um, but then everybody was up and already, you know, involved and on the dance floor and, um, and the music just kept going. And I think the other thing that we really uh, liked was that we didn't have to plan every single song for every single second of the reception. Curtis and I have a really good sense of reading the dance floor, reading the crowd to see what songs are um, appropriate to play and what songs will get people up. And um, I don't think at one point there was one song where everybody said, oh, I don't want to dance and left. Everybody was always, you know, from that point on, on the dance floor, having a good time. I think the last song was probably one of my favorite parts of the wedding, um, only because we were back together, all of our close friends and family were around us, we were having our last dance, and then I think there was a surprise of the night to everybody um, that they did the voiceovers uh, in the last song of the mm -hmm. best man speech and the bridesmaid speech, and you know that was the moment that you know really sticks in my head uh, throughout the whole reception. So much that, you know, after the wedding, I had to call Curtis to get the, the CD of it because I liked it so much that, you know, we wanted yeah. to we wanted to have that to keep it. And it was the it was like the most important part of each speech that was highlighted. And we were we were dancing and we heard it. and We kind of like, what are they at the mic? We actually looked over at the DJ station looking for um, our the best man and, and the maid of honor thought maybe they were retelling their speech in the microphone and they we looked over and they were just as confused we were all you know and it was just kind of a really great way to um to end the night and um really um sort of sentimental and mm -hmm. brought it all together i'm so glad because you found such a great guy like you you make her so happy you're a perfect match i hope that you two remember this special day remember how you feel right now and let that feeling guide you through a long and happy life together. Chrissy, I've known Ryan for my entire life, and I love him like a brother. So now that you're a part of this family, I extend that love to you as well. May you both live as long as you want, and never want as long as you live. May you grow old on one pillow, and love, loyalty, and friendship.
after the wedding, I, I missed that song so much that, and I was so upset that we didn't have those parts in the song that I called Curtis and asked him for the the uh, the CD of it, and I put it on my iPod, mm -hmm. and I have it in my truck right now. Yeah, and everybody was on the dance floor watching us do our last dance, and at the end, everybody, um, Curtis instructed everybody to go closer and closer and closer. So there was the whole dance floor was filled <laughs> with <laughs> was filled with um, our guests, and you know, nice tight circle around us, and then they played um, one of the final dance songs of the night and it just kind of um nobody was, wanted to leave nobody wanted to leave no <laughs> they wanted Curtis to stay and keep playing <laughs> yeah I think actually didn't some people start chanting one, yeah, more, one song, more song one more song <laughs> so they definitely um the the guests were definitely having a great time and didn't want to leave it went by too fast I think mm -hmm. uh, Curtis and Anna are absolutely incredible we think every single cent that we spent was well worth it um, everything from our first detail meeting with them until the very last second of our reception was dealt with um, professionalism and excitement and enthusiasm and um, with the video the music and the photos that they took they really were able to preserve um, a whole lot of memories for us that uh, we probably wouldn't have been able to see without them and I think that you know Curtis and Anna, they put the time in, they did everything right. Um, and with all the, the DJs around, I think that you know, their customer service was above and beyond uh, anybody else that we talked to or even thought about talking to. Anytime that I needed anything for um, a memory or another photo or the, the, the CD that I requested, you know, Curtis was right there uh, with an, an email or a telephone call to to be there and I really appreciated how he took the time not to push us off a year after our wedding um, for new clients. You know, he was still right there and they really were family.